So yes, good morning, students. So today we will uh, today we will start our class. And what uh, lesson we were doing? We were doing in earlier class. We were studying about different types of microorganisms and their medicinal uses, right? So this was the summary of the previous class and what we did in our previous class. So in today's class, we will start our class with picture. Okay. This uh, is the picture as you can see in front of you. So now what are you able to see from this picture? And what are you able to identify? You have to just, just speak through your mics or you can just write in the comment box. I will give you five seconds to observe this picture and then you have to share your observations. Like what you are able to see in this picture. Okay, let's see. How many of you are able to identify some good things in this picture? Okay, let's see. Okay, so yes, I can see the right responses. Okay, so you all are saying that a farmer is giving uh, fertilizers to the plants in his farm, right? Yes, very good. But, but why we are giving fertilizers to the plant? Any specific reason for that? Like why? Why plants, they need these fertilizers? Okay, they are because to increase the fertility. Yes, very good, because it provides fertility to the soil and then it provides the nutrition to the plants. Okay, so now comes the question. Yes, so uh, as we are reading microorganisms right now, so do you think that microorganisms also play some role in increasing the soil fertility? If yes, you can write in the chat box. If no, then also you can write in the chat box and you also have to give reason. Why do you think and how do you think? The microorganisms, they play a role in increasing the soil fertility. Not just increasing, if you think they are decreasing, then also you can speak up your answers. Okay. Yes, I can see the right responses that yes, microorganisms, according to you, also play a very important role. So now we will see how. How these microorganisms are playing an important role in increasing the fertility of the soil. So yes, moving on to our next slide, we can see like some bacteria, okay? Bacteria play a major role. Some bacteria are able to fix nitrogen from the atmosphere to enrich soil with nitrogen and increase its fertility. So this is one of the roles that the microorganism bacteria they play. And what, what is the role that they play? That is to fix nitrogen from the atmosphere to enrich soil with nitrogen and increase its fertility. So this is one of the role. And what is the second role? These microbes are commonly called biological nitrogen fixers. So this was all about microorganisms and how they help in increasing the soil fertility. So now coming on to the next slide, we will see some pictures. You must have noticed in some plants they are having. Okay, in some plants they are having these structures, right? These circular structures in their root. So what do you think we call them? Yes, we call them the root nodules. Yes, and in these nodules, these uh, bacteria are present inside these nodules also and outside in the soil also. These bacteria, as you can see the picture below, and these bacteria, they help in the nitrogen fixation process. That is, nitrogen fixation process means they are, uh, these uh, microorganisms are helping in the plants to grow. So this is also one of the main function that these microorganisms, they play. So let's see, a question is there for you, a curiosity question. So what you have to do is now, you have to go through the book and cite one more example of biological nitrogen fixer along with the name of the category of the microorganism under which it belongs or which it comes. You have to write the name of the microorganism and you also have to write the category, like whether it is a fungi, algae, or bacteria, or virus, anything. So yes, from your book, uh, from your NCRT book, you have to find it out the name and I will just leave it here. You have to find it out and then you have to give your answers in the chat box. Till then, we will move on to our next uh, slide and next question. So let's see, you have to name any two biological nitrogen fixers and you can write in, write in the chat box. Okay, so let's discuss any two biological nitrogen fixers. And uh, okay, I will give you five seconds to write your answers. Okay, one is bacillus. Yes, very good. Bacillus is there. What else? There is bacillus. 
Bacillus. Bacillus. What else is there? Azotobacteria. Azotobacter. Bacteria is also there. Yes, what else? Any other bacteria from your side? Okay. So these two are the two biological nitrogen fixers bacteria that help in increasing the soil fertility. And how they're helping in increasing the soil fertility? By fixing the nitrogen in the soil. Yes, so yes, you all were right. Oh, so now we will move on ahead and see some more roles these microorganisms play, microorganisms they play in our daily lives. Okay. Uh, so how many of you have seen your mother or any person who is related to the gardening process, who are, like how they make manure? You must have heard the word manure many times till now. And how do you think they make this manure? You can answer it with the help of this picture. So what all things they are mixing and how they are making the manure? Yes, they are mixing various things into it. Yes, you can write your answers in the chat box. Yes, they are mixing soil with um, vegetable peels, waste vegetable peels with eggshells. Yes, what else? With water, kitchen waste water also is there. So these are all the waste products from the kitchen, organic waste products, right? The waste product should be organic so that they can easily decompose. And then this whole, the, the, these whole waste, organic waste, it decomposes into the soil with the help of these microorganisms. And then uh, we will put them in a pit and then it, the whole manure will be formed after some days. So we will see in detail how this micro, how these microorganisms are helping us in cleaning the environment. One processes like we, uh, they help us in making this manure. So we will see some more details now. Okay, so now coming to the, how they help us in cleaning the environment. So a large amount of dead organic matter in the form of decaying plants and sometimes dead animals on the ground disappear after some time, right? So this is because the microorganism decomposed the dead organic waste. Like if animal died, it will uh, remain in that place for some time. But slowly and gradually you will see if no one touches it and no one puts it anywhere, it will slowly start to disappear. And where does it disappear into? These microorganisms are acting on that dead organic waste of plant or either animal. And what it is doing, microorganisms are doing, they are converting them into simple substances. These simple substances are again used by the other plants and animals in the form of manure. So this was uh, how, this is the method how the cleaning of the environment is happening with the help of microorganisms. So now you know that microorganisms play a major role in cleaning of the environment, right? So these are some of the functions that we discussed. Okay, one last point is there. Like microorganisms can be used to degrade the harmful and smelly substances, right? Whenever there is a dead plant or dead organism, if it stays for too long, it starts to smell very bad. So these microorganisms, they help to degrade the harmful, uh, like the harmful dead organic waste and smelly waste, and thereby it cleans up the environment. Right. So this was the role that the microorganisms are playing in our daily lives. Okay. So now we will move on ahead. Coming to the next question. Why do you think the plastic materials are not decomposed by the microorganisms? Now this is the main question here. Why do you think? Like uh, as we saw in the previous example, like we, the microorganisms were only decomposing the organic waste. They were not decomposing any other waste. So why do you think the plastic waste is not decomposed by the microorganism? Okay, we will wait for five seconds and then you, uh, till then you have to write your answers in the chat box and then we will discuss what will be the answer of it. Okay, yes, I can see the right responses. Yes, so the yes, you all gave some right responses. It is because plastic materials are very hard and they are very like uh, they're artificially synthesized. So it is very hard for the microorganism to degrade them or to break them into simpler products. And microorganisms are not able to 
degrade these uh, plastic materials. So this is one of the reason like why the microorganism they do not decompose the plastic materials. Now coming to our next question, which of the following cannot be decomposed by the microorganism? For this you have to write your answers in the chat box and we will wait for five seconds till the time you can answer and then we will uh, discuss the answer. So which of the following cannot be decomposed by the microorganisms? Among these, plant remains, animal remains, plastic water bottles, or organic waste. So yes, I can see the right responses. So the right response here is plastic water bottle. As plastic waste is not decomposed by the microorganisms. Okay, so you all answer it correctly. So let's see. So now our second topic is over here. So what was our first topic? Like how the microorganism, it helps us in increasing the fertility of the soil. And our second topic was like how these microorganisms, they are helping us in cleaning the environment. So till now we have seen how these microorganisms are being helpful to us. So coming to the third uh, topic for today, before moving on to the topic, we will see some pictures and then you have to identify, right? how these uh, microorganisms are playing a role. Okay. okay, so now the five seconds are over. So now we will see the right answers. Yes, as you all answered, it is the plastic water bottle. So now we will move on ahead and see some more, exam more uh, <coughs> examples like what we are about to study now. So yes. So what do you think this picture is showing you? Okay, I will give you five seconds. For five seconds, you first have to observe these two pictures and then after your, your observations, you have to share your observations, what you can see. So these stalls must be your favorite because they are selling the favorite food. Okay, some may like eating goryagapas and all. So what do your parents say when you are uh, like insisting them to buy you something to eat from these stalls they are saying that it is not healthy yes very good what else they are saying that you will get indigestion later on the early uh, the next day right okay and why do they think so like why do they think the it is unhygienic to eat from such stalls because there are flies all around the stores right these flies and they are the carrier of many diseases okay so yes so now we will see like uh, wha like how how uh, microorganisms they play their role in the spreading of harmful diseases right so let's move on to our next slide and we will see so uh, right now in the previous two topics what we studied was we studied how these microorganisms can be helpful to us but now we will study how uh, these microorganisms can be harmful to us right Okay, so now let's see. Microorganisms are harmful in many ways. Let's see some ways. Some of the microorganisms cause diseases in human beings, plants, and animals. Such disease causing microorganisms are called as, they have a special name that is pathogens, right? And some microorganisms spoil food, clothing, and leather. So, microorganisms not only they spoil the human. Uh, body functioning but they spoil food clothing also and leather also they spoil so these are some of the harmful effects or uh, caused by the microorganisms so and what are the microorganisms that are harmful in nature called as they are known as pathogens they have a special name so now are you all clear with the concepts of high harmful microorganisms if yes you can write in the chat box and if you have any doubt you can ask your question in the chat box and then I will start. Uh, uh, if, uh, if you are clear with the concept, then we will move on ahead, right? Okay, let's see. Yes, so I think you have no doubt. So yes, we will start uh, our uh, curiosity question now. Uh, so our curiosity question is, how do you think these microorganisms are able to cause diseases to human plants and animals. So many uh, things are organisms are getting affected by these microorganisms, but how? How do you think? 
okay we will give i will give you 5 seconds till then you have to think your answers and then we will have a small discussion on it okay so these microorganisms how these are causing diseases in humans and plants and animals like in humans we can say um, it is causing like typhoid tuberculosis okay these diseases like they are attacking certain specific organ and then they are infecting that organ what about plants in plants also sometimes we can see the leaves are getting yellowish in color and brownish in color yes so these are also the diseases caused in the plants by these microorganisms okay yes you all answered it correctly what about animals how these microorganisms are causing harm to animals yes yes uh, they are causing diseases in animals also so this is also one of uh, like uh, the reason how these microorganisms can uh, harm all these organisms right so yes you all answered it correctly now we will move on to the last question for this topic the last question is the disease causing microorganisms are called as what insects pathogen flies or mosquitoes for this uh, you have 5 seconds to answer and then we will discuss the answer so yes i think most of you are giving the right answer so yes the right answer here is pathogen so yes now i think you all are clear with the concept now coming to the recapitulation part let's see how do microorganisms help in increasing soil fertility you have to answer it with the help of an example yes we discussed uh, yes some microorganism they help in the nitrogen fixation fixation yes very good um, and bacillus was there bacteria bacillus acetobacter so these were some of the bacteria that help in nitrogen fixation process thus increasing the soil fertility yes and coming to the second point the activity of uh, microorganisms on organic and inorganic waste right so, like uh, yes what happens to the organic waste the microorganisms they decompose the organic waste but what happens to an organic waste they are not able to decompose it yes you all are right so pathogen you have to give one example of a pathogen pathogen or disease causing microorganism like there are viruses right so that's the the corona virus is one of the example of a pathogen because it causes a disease so now the recapitulation part is over coming to the homework you have to solve these two uh, this question and then coming to the match the following second question is match the following you have to match column a with column b whichever you find suitable and then there is activity what you have to do is you have to pull out a gram or a bean plant from the field and observe its root right you will find round structures called root nodules on the root draw a diagram of the root and show the root nodules right so this is all for today uh, if you have any doubt we are here um, and you can write in the chat box if you have any doubt uh, then we will clear it try to clear your doubt and if you are all clear then we will end our class here okay so i will wait for 5 seconds yes um so i see you have no doubt okay so that means you understood everything that is good so yes we will end our class here and we will meet tomorrow with some new and exciting topics thank you